Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all crushing life. Now I've been a bit neglectful, I gotta be honest. The Shelby, we, we haven't done enough stuff with the Shelby. Remember, 827 wheel horsepower with the Whipple Supercharge and Ultimate Headers. It's a beast. Bigger, bigger mention here, the Hellcat. We're finally making the primary, the number one mod you gotta do when you get a 717 horsepower Hellcat. We're doing that today. I hope. What to say? Do a sick burnout? I don't think the neighborhood can handle it, but okay. It smells like burnt rubber, baby. Drop a gear and disappear, am I right? Yeah. That's right, we got a new street and new rubber. Check this out, the Corsa Extreme Catback Exhaust. It arrived, we're gonna get this baby installed. Let's go. Oh, you didn't see that. If it's broke, it was FedEx, not me. Now, before we install that baby, we gotta get a baseline test on the Hellcat. And what better way to get a baseline exhaust test than to do donuts? We haven't done donuts in this channel in a long, long time. It's time to make it happen. And what better way to film donuts than by using Insta360 One X2. And I'm excited to say today's video is sponsored by Insta360. This camera is super sick, super easy to use, and super versatile. For example, right now, we're gonna go get the chase behind shot. So we've got the uh, 360 camera 1X2 attached here to the car. All we gotta do, extend, and we're good to go. And this is an invisible selfie stick. I, I know you can see it right now, but you won't in the video. So it's gonna look like we're being chased by a drone or a helicopter. You get a sick perspective while we're doing those those spinny thingies. Just hit the power button and she is good to go. Let's go, baby. We hit SRT, baby. We're gonna go into custom for now, get her warmed up still. But as you can see, we're still gonna get 717 horsepower. This is just not donut mode. Okay, we've arrived. Remember, I've never done donuts in the Hellcat before. It's also an automatic, so totally different than the GT350. So be kind, this is my first attempt. Let's give it a go. So from what I understand, you put it in track mode, bam. And then you hold the traction control off for like five seconds until something happens, maybe. Yeah, look at that. Now we're good to go. And traction off, so no excuses. All right, we got left foot on the brake, right foot ready to go. We're gonna throw it into drive. We got the camera, check this out. We can get any angle we want, that's so cool. We're gonna hit record and we're rolling. All right, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna leave. That was sick. I formally apologize to all of you and myself for not doing more donuts on this channel. That was a lot of fun. I Clearly I'm lousy at it. Those were terrible donuts. I'm sorry about that, but I have a feeling the exhaust install is gonna help me be better at donuts. So post exhaust install round two donuts. We're bringing it back. Casey, help me out. Let's go. I don't know why I thought it would fit, but uh, clearly it doesn't. I think we're gonna risk it. Hope we don't see any cops. Sorry, Casey, I'm late. I do one more pull for y'all to hear the stock exhaust one more time, but as you can see, I mean, the trunk is still open. We're just we're just gonna take it easy, get to our destination with the package, hopefully not falling out. Oh, oh look at this, I'm carrying the whole box one hand. You pretty much It's incredible. Oh, okay, Casey's so got it all. Goodness. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome yeah. back to, I, I don't know what we call this place anymore, but. James's dealership. You live here. I basically Second home. do, yeah. You've worked on that car, that car, that car, that all the cars. You built the NASCAR by hand. Professional right there, folks. That is a professional right there. Straight on, baby. Straight on. All right, last time ever, stock exhaust on the Hellcat, baby. This is it. Give it some juice. See, it, it sounds good. It's like the baritone is low, it's like has a purpose, but we need more. And this is the man to give us more. He's doing all the work. I'm gonna go sit over there in one of the cars and You're just the supervisor. You're right. the most important person here. Right. And he already tore it open. No, I didn't. What are you Cute. talking about? It looks, oh, open it, see what it sounds like. Yeah. We're not gonna make a mess. This is not my home. We're gonna be respectful. We're gonna just oh. Ooh. that's what we wanted to see. These are the black quad tips corset exhaust. Oh, yeah. Pure aluminum titanium vibranium. It weighs like five pounds. And as you can see, the stock 
exhaust tips. It's a quad, it's a single, so I do like the look of the square, but we're gonna get quad instead. All right, so this is how it's gonna go. This whole pipe here is uh, gonna be taken off, be removed, and we're gonna put the other one on. And, and when I say we, Casey's gonna do that. Now, I also gotta mention Casey is a gentleman because he raised it high enough for me to walk freely under here, but for him, he, he does have to reach a, a little bit. He's an average, normal, he's a tall guy. A lot of muscles. Question, Casey, before you raise it. Do we start it up and see what it sounds like? Yeah. So this is gonna be right here. This is what it sounds like with no exhaust. Let's go back though, because, yeah. I think it's gonna sound awesome. You ready? And we don't even put the new exhaust on. Let's hit it, baby. Okay, that was... Huh. Let's get it, give us some juice. Give him more, baby. Okay. That's, it's weird because at idle, it's it's not really anything different. I wasn't that impressed. Yeah. Like when we cut the exhaust off the smart car, uh -huh. night and day, smart car, amazing. This was like, yeah, it was good, but. Still eh. pretty loud. Yeah. Also, Casey, that guy right there, he's gonna help me buy wheels. For the wide body kit. Step one, piece one. You can say it, you need help. I do need help. Oh, just like that. that. I got it. It doesn't fit. This is why I never work on my own cars because we have to cut the exhaust. Casey, he lives in a supercar world. He's not used to the more low budget American muscle type world that we live in. He's not used to having to cut the old exhaust to put that on the new exhaust to make it fit, but that's what we gotta do. So we gotta cut the old exhaust now behind schedule. Not because of Casey, because I didn't tell him what world I'm in. Alright, he cut those bits in literally record time. If you guys recall, when I did the Raptor exhaust install a year or so ago, it literally took me eight days. Look at that, we got some fresh steel, fresh metal. Casey's looking good in the 360 oh, mode. Oh, yeah. For sure, this is cool. This is gonna sound... I mean, I hope it sounds incredible. We really don't know. We're crossing you know? our fingers here. I don't, I've never heard one with the Corsa If it sounds so. bad, can we just reverse everything? Well, we already <laughs> cut your exhaust, so we can't, there's no going back. There's no going back. We are committed. It's yes. happening. Bring her down. She's ready to go. She's ready to make some noise. Check these babies out. Say Corsa again. These are super clean. I like the way they look. Casey's excited to go home and make dinner, so he wants a startup. So we're gonna go. we're gonna start it up. All right. No messing around. Let's go. Let's hear it. Oh yeah. Just the startup is so just. Like, oh okay. That. Uh, let's run it back. Casey, thanks again. Yeah. That would have taken me literally seven days. I would have been better than the rap. I would have given you like four days. I bet you could have done it. I appreciate that. We're running home so we can set up the shot, do some pulls, do some donuts, and enjoy the exhaust the right way. So we're coasting home. It can take about 45 minutes, but we're going to get there. I want to hear it the same time you guys do when we hit, what, 5,400 RPMs. All right, so we're going to go get some six shots and listen to this Corsa exhaust. But before we do, I got to remind everyone and thank Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Make sure you hit the link below. They're offering 10% off the Insta360 1X2 only through June 4th. So you got to hit the link. This thing is sick. It's got 5.7K resolution, flow state stabilization. This stuff is smooth as butter and 360 reframing, which means it's got dual lenses. So you can just film and worry about what angle you want later. So you film and while you're editing, you can scroll around and pick the shot you want. Also, super easy to get all sorts of sick shots. You screw on the invisible selfie stick. We got the tri suction cup, baby. This thing is not going anywhere. You secure her down, good to go. Attach there, 10% off by June 4th. And this is just one of the cool ways to get shots. Bam, that shot is gonna be sick. It's gonna be like a drone is chasing us. So make sure you hit the link below, Insta360. 1x2. All right, Corsa, let's hear what you got. 717 horsepower and an invisible selfie stick. Let's go, baby. This is so cool. Start her up. I'm going to be honest. I kind of like that the startup is not totally insane like my Shelby. That means I can still take this to the gym in the morning. So that's a, that's a good start, but I hope 
I hope it gets insane. All right, baby, sport mode. Here we go. Never break, always fight. Never quit, do it right. Play the game, win your life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. All right, here we go again. Track mode off. Hit that button. Traction control is going to go off. And you guys are, yes, you're in the middle of danger. Um, you tell. Yeah, that's you. You might want to hold on tight. I told you, you might not be safe there and, and uh, inches, but we're good. Now we got to... We gotta run. All right, y'all have been so patient for waiting this long. We're gonna get some like some true revs right here. You can hear the idle. It's just a little more. It's a little more vibrant than the stock exhaust, which is good. So let's get some. Let's get some proper mm, slam a jamming rev. proper sick for just a basic basic exhaust mod install it, it changes the just the energy of the car also interesting fact when you're revving a Hellcat Challenger just kind of sitting there I couldn't rev it all the way to like 5,000 5,200 rpm it redlines at 54 it was like maxing out at 4,000 rpm which is I'm sure a thing I just haven't uh, I never researched that I mean who whatever so that was 4,000 rpm Sounds good. I just like how it's just so much raspier too. I, I love just that violent, deep, American muscle, baby. American, uh, I don't, uh, American muscle. All right, so the exhaust is not totally mental. It's not totally insane like some other cars, but I think that's a good thing because I still need a car I can take to the gym in the morning. The Shelby, I can't start up at 6 a.m. The Bentley, I'm not taking that to the gym because Frankly, I'm disgusting after the gym. I'm not getting that mess in the Bentley. The Raptor is surprisingly uh, pretty loud. And my wife's car, the last thing she needs is me to muck up her own car. So the Hellcat, the exhaust is perfect right now, in my opinion. It's wild when you're pushing it, but it's still soft for a startup. So that's good. But the question is, when we wide body the Hellcat, which yes, we're still gonna do that. Do we take the exhaust to another level at that point? Because the wide body Hellcat, maybe, I, I mean, it should be mental in my opinion. So let me know what your comments are. Do we up the exhaust game or is it is it perfect? Not everyone likes an exhaust to be the most obnoxious thing on the road. But I do wanna emphasize, you guys saw Casey in today's video. He's the man, he's gonna wide body this baby. And we sat down and we talked and was like, okay, let's make it happen. We had the wheel issue. We're still, you know, Casey's gonna help me figure out the wheels. And on that exciting, hopeful, optimistic view of life, I wish you all the best of luck. Make sure you go crush it. Peace.